Am I supposed to still be jamming? Oh, oh. Hey, what? you guys. You have reached another episode of What's Up at the Dock. We have a great show for you today because there's so much coming up. This there's a lot weekend. coming there's up. There's a lot coming up. but So we're going to have a great show just kind of connect uh the dots for everybody wondering all the stuff that's going on out there for Juneteenth and Juneteenth celebration and all the important national events that goes on in June, National Home Ownership Month, National Men's Month, all that kind of stuff. And so you're wondering, how do I put all this stuff in perspective and support? And we are here to help you and guide you through this month, Juneteenth, another episode of What's Up at the Dock. And just before we jump into that, I want to let everybody know the Doc Bookshop, the What's Up at the Doc is operated and sponsored by the Doc Bookshop. The Doc Bookshop is a family owned and operated bookstore in Fort Worth. Yes, we are. We sell personal care, home care, audiobooks, and e books. So, and I would like to invite my co host in, Donna. What's up, Donna? <laughs> How are you, Donna? Hey. Well, you know, we have a lot that's coming up here, and this is why we do the What's Up Doc uh, Live, because we want to kind of break it down and share all that's happening, not only in the Doc Bookshop, but also in the community, because there's a lot of community events coming up as well. And so, like Diane said, we please subscribe, please share, um, you know, get right the word here. out, because, right uh, you know, we want to make sure. Corner. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> people know um all that's happening uh, be, but before we get into that um our upcoming events i just want to quickly uh do a quick review because we have had some great things happen like for example we have david canard a uh, devon canard that was here uh, last monday he was Excellent awesome show. And he had a special guest. He brought in an NFL player, a person from the Dallas Cowboys. So yes. He and had a, you know, just a heck of a show. Just and we're supposed to be holding up his book right now. <laughs> we don't have it. But, but we had a lot of Watch that show week. last week. Last week we we had um we talked about it and then also um we, on our live, we, we actually did a live with the book signing. So definitely go back. And look at that live. I mean, he he has some wonderful nuggets. You you have to look. Check, uh, you check know what I line. really like about him? It's we it all adds up. He was telling us contemporary game. You know, so if you don't know that what the EFTs are new ways of making money, how to connect with money. Because mm -hmm. sometimes once you get older in your forties and fifties, you kind of lose that that technological option. And he just right. brought it all to the forefront. So yeah, he. I mean, he. Sh I mean, it was wonderful. So that's why I'm saying, please go back and look at that live check out that um that video and then also the manpower music fest we did that last week last saturday that was um off the chain that was wonderful beautiful event it was a wonderful day we had some awesome runners we had great vendors great speakers um the 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 talent was just amazing so it was an amazing event so that was wonderful and um the art too the art out there, and you know, under that bridge. If you haven't been to that part of the Trinity River Park that has some amazing art and artist names, just go check it out right there by the basketball. Court. Right. Okay, and so that's kind of our our quick review. Now, things that's coming up. It is so much. So right now, um, what I want to do is kind of focus on events at the Doc Bookshop, and then I want to talk about some of some of the events in the community. And in fact, uh, later on, we probably will have some guests calling in about their events. I know Bobby Edmonds will be calling in about her education, uh, Rally for Education event that's coming up. Um, and hopefully a few others may call in. But if not, we're going to cover their events as well. So mark your calendars, of course. Tuesday, every Tuesday, we have Open Mic. Doc Open Mic. Every Tuesday. Hi, family. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Hi. design is. <laughs> Thank you, design. <laughs> That's our beloved friend. Um. Okay, so we're. I got. I got. I got sidetracked with design. Anyway. <laughs> she did some pointers in here. Yes. 
<laughs> in fact, we need to bring him on live oh, later. And share, share, subscribe too. Make sure you subscribe to that bad boy, okay? Okay, so, <laughs> so, um, what, what was I gonna say? Froze, froze is hosting Doc Open Mic tomorrow, so check it out 7 30 every Tuesday. We're here, we're doing live poetry, uh, whatever talent you have. Um, every Tuesday at 7 30, Doc Open Mic, our host tomorrow is Froze, and then I'm really excited hey, about can I this. Say one real quick thing about Froze, yeah, Froze is celebrating a birthday. He is, I think, he's doing a big 5 0. So, I you got really. You guys, if y'all come out, he's gonna have some special I didn't know that. giveaways and all that kind of stuff because he's celebrating. So yeah, and wow, we gotta get a beloved, cake for Froze. I know he's our like our beloved. We should get Froze to call call in so we can say happy birthday. <laughs> I mean, we should do that. You know what? We'll, we're gonna work on that. Okay. Yeah, oh, we're gonna. This is his birthday month, so you know when you turn fifty, we just do a whole month for you. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, thank you for sharing that. Okay, so okay, so. Okay, moving on. Now, TCU Day, Thursday. This Thursday, mark your calendars, family. Plan to join us. I'm so excited. Where's the book? This is the book. Okay. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> my, <laughs> my thing keeps coming out my ear. But here it is. A history to remember. TCU in purple, white, and black. All right. So definitely, definitely come to this book signing, all three authors are going to be here. Uh, Frederick W. Gooding, uh, Selvine Greensward. Well, actually, you know, it's, it's longer than that. Nagundu Kalinga Greensward. And then our friend, Marcellus Perkins. So definitely. Can I just touch the purple power, the purple power. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys see this? This is it's a lot of royalty in this book. Purple is it's a royalty. history to remember. Yes, it's a history. They did a lot of research. I remember when Marcellus was coming to the bookstore and just sharing uh, bits and pieces about the research they were finding. It's some awesome finds in that book. So they're going to be talking about it on Thursday. So make your way to the doc bookshop. There's going to be a reception at six o'clock. The book signings at seven o'clock. OK. Now, so we got we're actually purple we got, out at the doc we're going to purple out. But then, you know, we got so much going on. We got to divide ourselves. Right. So we want you to come to that. And then those who can't make it to that, then we expect to see you at the National Juneteenth Museum Speaker Series at I Am Tarot with Brian Stevenson. And Brian Stevenson, I'm trying to do this without falling. <laughs> We okay. Have to make it easier. Okay? I I, next time we'll have it near me. But anyway, we gonna have one just, here and one there. Okay, just mercy. Okay, this is you know it was a movie. I know many of you have seen a movie. Okay, if you've seen a movie, say it in the chat that you've seen Just Mercy because he's gonna be here. So you have to come. Starring Michael uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, that was a great movie. So um, anyway, he's gonna be here. We're gonna be selling books at I Am Tarot at seven o'clock on Thursday. So it's a lot going on Thursday. And let me just say, this is a very important part of history because so many men were wrongly, wrongfully accused and on and, death row. Yes. You know, and he put in the work with a, a very low budget. And he did that. He has a whole EJI initiative. That's one of his initiatives to, uh, to try to get those who are wrongly accused, especially in that, in that particular time, period when there was so much racism, hatred for African for people of African descent. And he went out there and just helped families that didn't have the money. So when he put a team together, Just Mercy is one of those. Oh, it's a classic. It's a true story. It's a true story that deserves our attention, especially at this particular time of year. So everybody that's out there celebrating, we have to really understand what Juneteenth and just these two words collectively really can tell speaks a story, to speaks to and tell the story of those untold stories. So, yes, come out to either one of those events. Yeah, on Thursday, um, either one or both, because you can start off at the Doc Bookshop and then end up at TCU. And, you know, I mean, not at TCU, at I am Terrell. And get That's your book early. Is. If you want to reserve your book, you know, go online and reserve your book now at the docbookshop.com right after you subscribe. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So just to reiterate, uh, Thursday, June 15th, we will be here at the Doc Bookshop um, having a book signing, a history to remember. We're going to be in purple and white. 
on Thursday here at the Doc Bookshop. It's TCU Day. And then on, and also uh, that evening, we are going to be booksellers at the um, Juneteenth Museum Speaker Series featuring Brian Stevenson, um, the author of Just Mercy, uh, which was uh, made into a film featuring Michael B. Jordan. So a lot is going on. So again, I'm giving you a lot. So go to our website and check out all this information as well. A lot of great pictures in this book, you guys. I don't know if you can. Okay. Yes, yes, but yes. Okay, so okay. So, oh, it's just so much. And then this is going to be beautiful. On Friday, y'all, this is going to be absolutely beautiful. I, are you are you are, are you able to pull up these pictures? Well, go to our website. Can you go to our website? Okay, Super Producer is going to go to our website and scroll down to the Lampkins. Where are they at? Go. Um, Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I, I want y'all to see this beautiful couple. Keep, there they are, the Lincolns. Okay, so tune in and make sure, not tune in, come, come. Friday, okay, Friday, June 17th. No, Friday, June 16th. Meet the Lampkins. It's a beautiful love story. It's a journey. They've been together for over 70 years. Okay. Can, I am going to so, take that opportunity, Donna. I'm really going to take that opportunity to kick off my romance series because that's just a perfect time to pick up. And you, we used to do this thing called Hot Mamas of Romance. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, Brenda Jackson and Beverly Jenkins back in the day, the Hot Mamas of Francis Romance. Francis Ray. And Francis Ray. Yes. So, oh, yes. yes. And so I think it's just in order to just, we're going to have a Hot Mama and her fling, her man. That's going to talk about your legacy of love. Okay. So anyway, um, join us Friday for the Lampkins love story. They're going to, they're going to do a documentary. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful event. Um, all right. What else we got going on? Okay. Show them the Juneteenth family story time and celebration. That's the beautiful. Keep just, just right there. All you got to do is you're going to scroll up. <laughs> Juneteenth, yeah, okay, so this weekend, there's so many Juneteenth events going on. Just keep it right there. You don't have to, okay, mind my business, okay. So Juneteenth um, at the dock, we were going to do from 11 to 2, but guess what, y'all? It's a parade going on. <laughs> okay. Are we in the parade? We're in the parade. Oh, Lord, so put a there, there's a here. sycamore, oh gosh, let me get the full name of it. Solar, solar, solar. It's a Juneteenth Music and Arts Festival, and they're kicking off with the parade at 11 a.m. on at 1050 Evans Avenue. Okay, so that's where the Juneteenth parade is going to start. And um, yeah, so we're in that. So anyway, we're gonna do that's that. That's the city, right? That's the that's not the city. No, this is so, us. This is us's parade. <laughs> So anyway, so we're gonna do our the, the Juneteenth parade. Is Super Producer gonna be drowning, or does he know that yet? He doesn't know it yet, but yes. Oh, super Producer, he's our Super Producer. He's part of part of the drum circle. Yeah, he's gonna be drumming. So we, go I, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna try to gather the drummers because again, it's Juneteenth the weekend. There's a lot going on, so I, I we gotta find them. So anyway, keep it moving. We got that going up, but no, y'all listen. I hope I can reach this book. Don, you might reach that one for I me. I want y'all to see this book, though. I mean, this is, well, I gotta, I'm going to do it. Okay, listen, y'all. This book right here, oh, my gosh. I love this book. This book, The Night Before Freedom, is a Juneteenth story. And we're going to do this book at 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock story time. I, I, you know, where's the producer going? Go to my green flyer, the green one, the Now, okay, go down. Just, just, just follow. Yeah, just follow along with us. We got a lot going on. I, I know it's like keep going to the green flyer. To the green flyer. There it is. Okay. So this is a story time. Okay, this is the book that we're gonna do for the story time at one o'clock. All right, because we're gonna be at the parade in the morning, and then we're gonna do the do the uh, story time at one. So is it on there? Okay. 
<laughs> All right, we're we working through this. But anyway, y'all, bring the kids out for story time. Family story time is this Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's a time change. We said from 11 to 2, but we're going to just do from 1 to 2 because we got the parade in the morning. Okay? A lot a lot is going on. And then after that, you know, here at the Doc Bookshop, keep scrolling up, Forum 720. We're going to go to the, I should say super producer. <laughs> uh, there it is. All you got to do is just keep going up. There it is, the Soray. Um. And you can contact Banneker Communication Group. They're going to be here from 3 to 6. Contact them. They're going to be having a wonderful soiree. And um, so that's, and it's, and you have to reserve tickets and all that. And so, anyway, I, I'm, I'm excited about that. And they're going to be having, they're going to be featuring um, Sear Circle Soiree. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm just going to say the Banneker, Banneker Communication Group event. Banneker because, Communication, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't say that word. Sears, Sir, Sir, Anyway, they will be here at three. Banneker. You try it, Daniel. I said it, Sears, Circus, Sir, Yeah, she's so good. She's been, she's Sir, been Sir, Sir, speaking for me Sir, for so Sir, long. Sir, okay. <laughs> All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Our next event, yes, I'm so excited about this one. You're excited about all of them. No, this one, no, this one I'm really excited about because we did a Mother's Day sip and shop, right? But guess what we're doing? A Father's Day sip and shop. Now, normally... Don't get beat out, don't get beat out, I'm telling y'all. Let let me just say this, y'all... Bring your father and your or your father figures to the doc book shop. Take pictures with them. We're gonna have um, a giveaway. You know, we're gonna make it real nice for fathers. You know, we did it for mothers. Um, of course, we had a little extra treatment for mothers, but for fathers, we're still gonna have something nice for them. So bring your father out to the doc book shop on Father's Day from one to five for the sip sipping shop. And, and if so, you're alone, just bring yourself and you can share your story with us because I ain't going to listen. <laughs> uh, yes, because there's okay. some that, that, that just, you know. And it's, 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 it's a hard holiday. It really is. A lot of people do struggle with, with their father relationship, but then there are so many who have wonderful father relationships. We're going to take it all in because I've got some stories to share too about my son and father. But I'm okay, yeah, we, we, gonna we, go but we're going to balance it out with That's the a good. Whole other episode, but I'm going to take that episode. One and that might, your episode might not be allowed on that day because we're celebrating. Right. You're right. I'm saying, but I'm saying for those that need some assistance, I'm here to give a listening ear. Right. Okay, so anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about our Father's Day sipping shop, so make sure y'all are in the place. Okay. And then we have what else we got going on? It's so much. I know that's why we that's we, we that's why we do this. But this is what this is why we do this show, y'all. We have to break it down. Now, mark your calendars for Tuesday, June twentieth is our Juneteenth open mic. And guess who's our host? Mike Wynn. He will be hosting our Juneteenth open mic. So make sure you're in the place at 730. Every Tuesday we have open mics. So 730, we have that going on. And there's more. And I'm going to quickly mention this because this is important. You got to mark your calendars for manga. Yeah, manga and anime day. I want everyone to mark the calendar for June 24th because you know some young person. And that young person, trust to believe, know about manga. Manga, I've been saying it wrong. It's manga and anime day. So, anyway, mark your calendars for that. We're going. To, oh, I'm so excited about that event too because we have four guests coming in for that event. Okay, we got a manga Arthur, Oduzi going to be in the house. He also known as White Manga, White Manga, is manga, not manga, it's manga. My nephew corrected me on that. It's manga. So White Manga will be in the house, and then we're going to have some can voice, I, can I, can I, can I some voice about? actors that does that do the anime. Um, they're, they're going to be here as well. Major Attaway. Major Attaway. He's on and, Broadway. Right. And he's bringing his friends. Yeah, yes. Yes. And he's and he's a local phenom. He's from Fort Worth. And so he's going to be here. And it's, we're going to have a great time with that. Oh, Doomsie, he has He also has his app called Saturday AM. And that they're, what they're doing with that app 
is phenomenal. When I say it's phenomenal, they're utilizing technology. Oh, check they're it out. They're adding the anime, they're adding the manga, the books, and they're coming from an African perspective. Y'all so gotta check out Saturday. We look at manga, and people don't get confused about manga. Manga is like comics, you know, it's just it's just taking a, a, a Japanese tradition, right? And they're you know bringing it home because it has been popularized. But I would like to say that the manga that we're bringing is is coming from an African center, African perspective. All those young men that are a part of the Saturday AM um, part of the African experience. Okay, okay, so wonderful. All right, so that's what we're doing. Mark your calendars, June twenty fourth, manga anime day. That's going to be huge. 1 to 6 p.m. Huge. Here at the Doc Book Shop. And then, this is my last one. I want to mention this. Okay, got to put this up. I'm sorry, go back. I got to mention this, and then we're going to end it. Because I cannot go. I, I know this is a lot, but keep going, because I want to I want to end it at, at our summer. You got to keep going at one more. Well, it's two more, actually. Because, keep going. Ha, yeah, Hasna Muhammad. Now, y'all, this is going to be major. So mark your calendars for Saturday, July 28th. We're going to have an afternoon with Hasna Muhammad. Uh, no, sat, no, Saturday, July 1st. <laughs> Saturday, July 1st at 3 o'clock. Hasna Muhammad will be here. She is the daughter of Ozzy and Ruby Davis. And she's a poet and author and photographer and on right. And she's going to be sharing with us. And so it's going to be a phenomenal evening. And it's a free event. And so we're inviting the community. Everyone come out and let's meet and greet uh, this beautiful woman who has done some major um, uh, work in, 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 the, in, the, in the artistic field. So, And she comes from that energy, that spirit of her parents. Isaac and Ruby Day, who was very they, they a were, part of major movements in this country. The civil rights They have made mm -hmm. pivotal changes for our experience in this life today. So come out and be a part of this. I'm telling you this. You go share that. Go go get that because this is an opportunity that may not ever come again. That's the Muhammad. Yeah, that's the Yes, we, we should have a full house to meet and greet that's uh, this phenomenal truth this late uh, woman with a rich heritage. So, um, mm -hmm. and if we're going to say no more. And <laughs> no, we're going to end it with this, oh, okay. the summer book jam. That's where we're ending. We're ending with the summer book jam on Saturday, July 8th. So mark your calendars for the summer book jam. That's going to be a fun, fun time. Uh, we got some Arthur's confirmed. We got Malik, um, and the magic bow tie, uh, book, his the Arthur that Ray um, Young is going to be here, and we've got Angela Johns, Angela Shante. She's the author of the Noisy Classroom. She's going to be here, and then a uh, NFL player Lindsey Pipkin, who wrote the children's book Air with Hair. He's going to be here. So, and we're going to have more. They're just you know. So come out to the summer book jam. Okay, Whew, that's a lot. So do we have anyone in the audience that we don't have no one? Okay. So soon though. Is it eight o'clock? It is eight. So Bobby hasn't called in yet. So okay, but let's talk about Juneteenth. Let's go into our Juneteenth schedule. And y'all, I know I mentioned a lot, so definitely go to our website, thedocbookshop.com, and just kind of look at all the events that's happening and mark your calendars accordingly because I mean it's a lot of great things happening in Fort Worth in the DFW. Um here at the Doc Bookshop and in just in the community in general. And we just want to make sure you don't miss these wonderful, great opportunities. So definitely um, go check out all those events. And we're going to dig more into uh, the Juneteenth calendar because there's a lot happening for Juneteenth this weekend. And in fact, mark your calendars are because it actually kicks off on Thursday. Well, you know, it's been stuff going on all week because we had some juicy events last week. <laughs> and juicy has been going on all month. But uh, this Thursday events, I mean, this Thursday kickoff, uh, word it for me, Diane. This Thursday? This well, Thursday. This Thursday is a major moment in, you know, the kickoff our Juneteenth experience in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 
and it has to be an experience because it's a layer with history and culture. I know we want to celebrate it, and, so, and sometimes we get so caught up because it becomes commercialized, and you use, lose the value and essence of what Juneteenth is. And you have to be there at those celebrations that's going to speak truth to power about this celebration because, because like I said, there's so many myth misinformation. You know, right. Texas didn't find out till when they were the last one to find out. Well, there was a reason why Texas was the last find. You know, the last uh, uh, place to find out because they were still at war. Just because you enact laws, that doesn't mean people abide by them. Those laws have to be enforced. enforced. Right. So, so Thursday you, we're going to do a a a, a kickoff, and we're going to talk a little bit about the history. So the Thursday event, again, is going to be uh, the National Juneteenth Speaker Series at I Am Tarot, featuring um, our guest speaker would be Brian Stevenson with Just Mercy. So that's that's a big, huge thing. So if you can, uh, plan to be there. And if you can't, remember, we, we're still going to have our TCU day here at the Doc Bookshop. We're going purple and white and black on at the doc bookshop so thursday is a busy day but we're going to um definitely uh be in both places somehow <laughs> we'll figure that out but we're going to cover um both of those events because they are great events and they're kicking off our juneteenth week as well as um and one thing i would say about our area is even so important because we have opery in our area and Oprah was truly instrumental in bringing Juneteenth to the forefront, forefront and how it is important that mm -hmm. we celebrate that time period because as we understand 4th of July, even though we had 4th of July and everybody was celebrating, Africans or enslaved Africans were not independent. They were still shackled, subjugated to all, all harsh working conditions, um, just in so much inhumanity. And so many of our ancestors fought this fight to end slavery. And it's so important for us to pay homage at each, before any event, we have to pay homage, you know, um, to our ancestors. And, and sometimes the best way to pay homage is to be able to tell their stories. And if you don't know the story, it's going to be very hard for you to tell that story. Hey, James, James. Is he coming on screen and tell us what they're going to do for Jim Jim? Oh, he's not coming on screen. Oh, is that Jim Jim? It's, it's, it's James. It's not Jim Jim, it's James. Oh, Please. James. Oh, yes. Okay. And, yeah. Don, can you, you're not going to read what's going on? Cool, y'all. Y'all got a lot going on. Keep it going. Thank you, nephew. I appreciate it. It's a lot going on. I'm trying to keep up this this schedule, especially during Juneteenth. It is it is full. It's something about like thirty something in this. And Donna, you have done. Let me just say you have done an amazing job just trying to keep up with the event schedule and the phone calls and everything. You because you know people don't know how taxing this is because they say oh it's a bookstore, but when you're a community in a, and you love the community so much that you're doing all these different things and you do an amazing job of keeping the schedule, talking to people, oh, she's been so kind. processing orders and just do all the stuff that you do. We're going to have to celebrate you, but we're not going to do that until September, right? Okay. okay. I'll take it whenever I can get it coming from you. I, I appreciate that. I wish I, you know what? <laughs> she's not being a nice today. Let me tell you something. What? I, I, I'm oh, right. does she have wine? No. Let me tell you something. If anybody <laughs> wants to, you know, we do it. If anybody wants to, because we work so hard and you see all these events going on, if anybody want to contribute to a just a little short vacation for us, you know, go somewhere, <laughs> I mean, I will take it, you know, because it's not just our events. It's a, a huge community undertaking, right? You know, if you look at that schedule, it's some 30 something events, not just at the bookstore, but all throughout the community, you know, as far reaching as Dallas and then in other areas, Watson Hatch and all those. Just trying to organize and you know, even Austin, Austin got stuff that, that they're they tie us into. So again, these are huge undertakings and right. curating not only books but events. And, Interesting. You know, and, and yeah, 
curation of events. I never thought of it. Like yeah, that. yeah, because some of them just just party, you know. Yeah. But, okay. You know, we had Pan Africa, and I and I want to say that they have events going on. So you know, we, we you know, I I would say tune into those because those these areas are going to be where you're going to get, you know. I, and I know no shame to anybody else's event. They just probably haven't reached out to us. But I know we work with groups in Plano and Frisco. And so they have events that they bring the bookstore in. Right. Right. Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so Juneteenth. I forgot where I was. But anyway, where, where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the parade. I'm going to go into Saturday because, you know, Thursday, we know about the speaker series. Definitely come to Brian Stevenson. And we're going to be selling books on site for that event. I am Tarot, 7 p.m. And also, we're going to have something here at the books, bookshop as well. Now, um, PCU, a day to remember. So both events going on Thursday. Now, Saturday, though, is going to be a, a parade. And then it's going to be a Juneteenth um, music fest or music. And what is it now? I want, I want to make sure I get his stuff right. Music and arts festival. Okay, music and arts festival, Danya, on the 17th. So okay. we got to do the parade, and then we're going to be at Sycamore Park. Okay, that's where we're going to be on the 17th. There's going to be a lot going on at Sycamore Park. They got, I mean, they got a car show. They got 303 basketball, you know, all that going on. So, um, yeah. Okay, okay. let me just, oh. What? <laughs> Did you get in trouble? <laughs> wait, wait, no. I, okay, Is this okay, thing okay, on the phone? Are you kidding okay, me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> our, our super producer don't trying, play. Y'all, he was trying to take a phone. And I, what I was trying to do is get, because she's talking about Sycamore, and we need Derek to get on this phone call. We, Derek, if you're listening, somebody reach out to Derek. Yeah. At Sycamore, because super producer, you not want me to talk on my phone. But <laughs> I need somebody. Well, even if he, even if he doesn't, just mark your calendars for Sycamore, because we're going to be there on. Actually, they got something going on Sunday, too. From three to eight on Sunday, so and I'm supposed weekend. to host a talk back. That's why I really need right. <laughs> and, and, and and listen, three o'clock. Okay, Jay, you're welcome. If I was down there, y'all would put me to work, and you know that, right? Yeah, <laughs> come on down for the. Oh, I wish she was down here because we need some help. Okay, but um, yeah. So we got Sycamore on Saturday. Sunday okay. is going to be the Texas Wesleyan University. Okay, looking good, ladies. Keep up the good work. So, Thank you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, share. I appreciate that, Neat. Please subscribe. So on on um oh, it is Sunday, here. June okay. 8th, um, we're going to be doing, we got two events. Remember, we got the Father's Day, Sip and Shop, but we also have the Texas Wesleyan University June team, Jubilee, on that day. Oh, yeah, Jubilee. Oh, yeah. Linda, if you could call in. <laughs> oh, we should have had Linda call, call in. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I know Super Producer won't let you text, but send Linda a text. I don't care what he says. <laughs> yeah, can, you on, can you show an event real quick? Okay. I can get some of them. Show them so they won't see me go to my phone. And text no, okay, wait. Now, you just hold on here. You okay. can't. Okay, so also, we're going to keep talking this through because because all this will be on our website, all this is on our Facebook, and it will be on our IG. We're going to make sure we push all this out. Um, Sunday, um, no, now we're on Monday. Monday, we're going to be at the Opal Walk. Okay, Opal Walk is going to be at 9.30 a.m., y'all. Opal Walk for Freedom. And we do that every year. We participate in the Opal Walk for Freedom. And then, guess what? What? Guess what? Hotel Dreis. Oh, we didn't even talk about Hotel Dreis. Well, we talk about now because it's on Monday, June 19th. It's Hotel Dreis. Oh, okay. At 4 o'clock. You want to share a little bit more about Hotel Dreis? Hotel Dreis. It's say, Juneteenth at Dreis. You do guys do not know Hotel, Hotel Dreis is the only African-American ho owned hotel in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I think there might be one or uh, one other. It is it's right forward. across from Dickie's Arena. I will be staying there when LL Cool J comes into <laughs> town because I will be walking right. I, I know I said way, but you know LL is coming town. You know LL graced this stage, and um, yeah. so we are. I am going to 
I should have said that because I don't want everybody going there and take my room. You you messed up. I know. Best kept secret. But I know. Yeah. I mean, I have to walk, do a cartwheel, and I'm there. But um, so we they giving us, they're having us host a whole day of educational fun, everything. I should tell Allison to come and call in too, but I'll try to get to Allison. <laughs> I try to get to Allison and tell her to see if she can call in and just. Uh, talk a little bit about that. You guys, we we tried to get to everybody so they can call in and talk about their events. <laughs> we we didn't do it in a timely manner, but we're gonna work on that. Yeah, can, I, can, I, can I get another commercial screen real quick? <laughs> she gonna try. Okay. So oh, and I, and I love them just I, I love them because you know even though we don't we don't promote the whole bunch of drinking excessively, but they're going to have some. Um, uh, black owned wine companies, yeah, black owned wine companies that are going to call in. Oh, cool, that's going to be there, yeah, okay, wonderful. And I, I think the Banneker Communications is doing the same, they're so ready on Saturday. Oh, they are mm -hmm. okay, so it's, it's a, yeah, so anyway, go to the website, uh, check us out. It's a lot going on. Um, I think that's it. So let's let's just go ahead and discuss the rest of our books up here. Uh, we the we brought a few books up. I think these are some classics that you need to have for Juneteenth. Definitely um, the 1619 Project. It's a must read for Juneteenth. It's a great must read for Juneteenth. So um, <laughs> I'll put it in front of speaker, speaker to camera. Let me just say this about this. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to take it from you. That's okay. Um, oh, this one we did. <laughs> this one we did a whole book club real. Book. We did. <laughs> yeah. This is a good book. I mean, it was so. It let was me just say, huge in this book, you, 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 it's amazing how everything in America is tied to slavery and it speaks to a whole nother generation you know i still like i know i'm sorry you guys i keep messing with my ear thing but you know not to take away take away from the book like destruction of a black civilization and all the great historians that came before us but this is a whole new generation a whole new look with a lot of, uh, more details and research not only from a we uh, a natural perspective but also international engagement okay so that that's a that's one of our juneteenth um staff picks and then we also have this one how the word is passed by clint smith a reckoning with the history of slavery across america this is a good one for your library as well um and clint i just you know we gotta get clint we're gonna we're gonna work on that we're gonna get clint um we're gonna do an interview with him I'm claiming it before the end of this year. Can we do one before Juneteenth? Do we have? I doubt if we can do it before Juneteenth since that seeing how Juneteenth is this week. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so oh, um, have another show on help me to find my people. I, I this is an interesting read for Juneteenth because you know when the slaves were freed, um, they were looking for their people, you know, and so this this book speaks to that. Um, and can you imagine? you know just looking for your loved ones and so a lot of you know a lot of um enslaved um africans were looking for their loved ones mm -hmm. you know so um that book speaks to that and then oh hear me that book because that's this is opal lee's actual book can i get it you oh you have... probably can't read it okay anyway opal, i'm not going to try to reach over that <laughs> i'm not going to do it but she also wrote a Juneteenth book that's available at the Doc Bookshop as, as well. Oh, okay, so, you got to Okay, so I think that that kind of sums up our our um, our live today. We covered a lot. There's a whole lot because there's a whole lot going on this week, y'all. And you and please join us. Go to our website. Go to our socials and, and connect with us. Um, subscribe. <laughs> You know, we may come back and try to break down some of this stuff because it's a lot. I know it's a lot. We could try but to come back on Wednesday. I don't know. Or probably not. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I'd probably do something. Some, some, some. Yeah. We'll see because Wednesday is, we got a lot going on. Oh, okay. 
But anyway, so that that kind of concludes our our live country. I'm making sure we got everything. Okay, shout out to our super producer, our super producers. Okay, <laughs> seven twenty and Brittany, and also I'm still going to mention this, you know, because we're still uh, we're celebrating our 15th anniversary all year. So you know, 15 if you years, can, you guys. 15 go to our go to the go, go fund me. Um, and you know, if you can contribute and if you want a free music video, email us or hit us up on Instagram. Okay. If you, what free music video, I'm not sure, but I'm sure super producer will send you something, a free music video. Okay. Yes. If you want a free music video. All right. So did we cover everything, Diane? I think we did. In 4K. All righty. Well, I, I, I do want to say this is upcoming down the road that we're going to really hit this. Um, and I don't know a, a, a more pleasant way to say this, but we are going to have to deal with stop the violence. We're going to deal with this, you know. And I, I did put a message out there for every Juneteenth celebration or any gatherings or any family reunions it's that time of year gatherings gathering gathering we have got to push the message of stopping violence in our communities we have got to put in how do we work out our issues how do we deal with you know our differences and and sometimes if you have a, a feud with somebody deal with that somebody you cannot take out you know, hit families, all these stray bullets. It's damaging, you guys. And I just appeal to everybody, get your friends, families, your, your, your HBCU gatherings, all your gatherings should deal with this stop the violence because families are out there hurting and they have no beat. They're not even involved with the people that are going after each other, but now they become involved hurt. You know, those bullets are hurt. They're hitting children, you know. So I, I expect, and if you're at an event, go to the say, can you get the microphone? Just can I just want to say, stop the violence, end violence. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And um, we're gonna, we're gonna definitely on, gonna speak on that. We're gonna Come speak on, more on that. And you know, if, if you if you want to join the conversation, go ahead and hit the link. You know, so we can just see you and say hi to you. Um, but also, and you know what, Diane, let, let's just share with people what happened because that was traumatizing. That was, you know, it was crazy actually, you know, and we're just going to share with you, you know, over the weekend on Saturday, um, there was a party at the event center next door and it got out of hand. And we don't and, know all the, we don't know the full details, but the one thing that we need to just carry it on because we don't have all the details. We don't because have we don't all the all details, but the there main, was, there was the shooting main, in the parking lot. The main message is stop violence. Stop the violence because there was shooting in the parking lot. But let me let me just say, fortunately, no one was fatally injured. I mean, someone was injured. A lot of people were injured, but someone was, um, you know, taken to the hospital. But um, it's a wake up there's call. no fatalities. But the property damage, I mean, we have businesses, I mean, as black businesses, we're already struggling. I mean, it's not easy being a black business because you don't have as many resources financially. And so when someone is randomly shooting and they shoot out your window, which happened to our neighbors at during performance, you know, that's, that's, that is traumatizing a for a business diary, owner. Yeah, fast food diaries, I see you, wow. That's crazy. I mean, I mean that that that's traumatizing, you know. And and then not only that, but and and my heart goes out to our friends at Dream, Dream Performance because not only was the window affected, but his car, you know, he got two flat tires from from this foolishness. Diane has bullets in her windows. I mean, it's, it's that serious, and and that could have been people. So you know, the, it was careless, it was reckless, and it's unnecessary, totally unnecessary and i don't think people even think about the trauma they're causing other people oftentimes just like with my nephew you know the fact that he couldn't walk with his class i mean people don't understand 
and, and there's provisions in place where he could walk with this class, but people are causing trauma to other people. <laughs> Unnecessary, unnecessary you, trauma. The overarching you know, commonality of trauma is caused by other people, and we're not taking time to stop and think about our actions. Right, and and it's trying to just and keep in mind that you know how how can I make someone else's day better? If people will have that perspective, I think. You know this violence, this this craziness would, would less will lessen because honestly, I mean, if you want to stop and say, okay, now how can I make somebody's life better? Shooting randomly in the air, tearing up folks' property, and almost killing people is not the answer. You know what I'm saying? So and I can't. I don't know where people's hurt and pain lies, right? I don't know where your hurt and your pain is. And if you go to those measures, there is hurt and pain. But is that the do I, do I shoot out everybody or try to get those and talk to those before it escalates? And there's nothing wrong, you know, and I, nowadays I'm so glad that we're embracing mental health and mental health awareness where it's okay. Now it's okay, y'all, to go get help and because I, we all suffer mentally from, you know, from something. Um I always go back to that book, Black Fatigue. We all tired, we all hurt, we all suffering. So it's okay to get some counseling and deal with your anger, deal with your hurt, deal with your pain versus causing pain to other people. Especially in this who day, really don't have anything to do with you or yeah, your problems. Especially in this day, these days of camera phones and iPhones and all this kind of stuff. Let's just take time to say, hey. This is what's hurting me. This is you're hurting me. You hurt me. And let's just deal with it. And families, families need to, I think we just say this, step up. Step yeah. up. And, and a, a lot of families sweep a lot of stuff under the rug. And they have a lot of issues in families. And I think, you know, we got in our own family. And, and to be honest, I actually promote dialogue. And I know dialogue often hurts because they open up wounds, but you got to talk about it. Like, what is the problem? Like, what is going on? Like, why do you feel that way? And a lot of people don't want to deal with that. But, you know, I just think we got to communicate. It's, you know, I think it's a lack of communication. And also we got to be compassionate with one another. You know, when, when we start dialoguing and communicating, we got to be compassionate. You can't be, you know, acting ugly. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that only makes it worse. Yeah, so and, and if again, I open up to you and you go to act ugly, oh, it's it, that might not be again. A I don't. Again, I'm not a therapist. I don't understand the root and the pain that somebody experiencing. You may have just lost your mother or somebody in your family to violence. So there, there's probably there's probably some pain there. But again, the whole community then caused that problem. So you, we need to find out who the anger is geared towards and let's have a discussion and then you know nation of islam does a very great a great conflict resolution and sometimes it's families getting affected together with families and understand how to solve conflicts with other people right. so again i you know i hope everybody as they gather during the summer we constantly raise up the bonus, and, you know, the wear orange, the, the wear orange concept. Stop the bonus. Enough is enough. Um, uh, moms are moms are tired. I can't think of it. Moms are tired. Mom demand justice. That's what it is. All these groups still, you know, behind someone losing their child in cross fire. Mothers are murder angels. Mothers are murder angels. They're using losing their children in crossfire. You don't even get to your target. But right. now another family is brought into this. And I don't need people once they're because of all this cameras and all this stuff. I, I it's no, it's not fair to you to be in behind bars and then think about what you should have, could have did it, what I would have done differently, because life doesn't come back. We 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 treat this as life is like life is gonna come back that you're just gonna suddenly appear in your loved one. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah, life so is, it's not one of those things. Life needs to be treated precious. 
Yeah. So you're right. Um, so um, if, if no one wants to join in with us, that's fine. We're about to close it up. But yeah, I mean, it, it was very, it was just traumatizing. And, and it was, uh, it was crazy. I, I've never, we experienced a whole lot in this plaza, but that was beyond a bit too much. And it was, I mean, that could have been, it was, it was a lot of children here. You know, it was, it was a lot of people. I mean, it was just, it was just senseless, senseless, senseless. And here's the thing. I don't want to call anyone uh, a dumb criminal. I don't want to use that language. But, but you, there's cameras. No, like, it, it, it ain't even, it ain't even, like, it's not even about that. But it's no, but, even, but people no, don't understand that, that you have, you have to think things no, through because there's, they actually. It's not even about the, it's not even about the cameras because cameras fail, cameras don't work. It's not even about that. But, it but is, there it are is, cameras. It, it is stop the violence. Stop the violence, but also think it through because, um, you know, it's. It's not even about that. It's, it's, yeah. it's about it's about the violence that's going on all over the country. The country is in a crisis. When you think of your body, when you think of those different areas, when you think of Allen, when you think of all those different areas, it's it's not even that doesn't mean nothing because guns are safe. They're, they're they're happening in seconds. Yeah, they're okay. happening in seconds. All right. Okay, so okay, we, we're done. We're going to wrap it up. So thank you for, for tuning in with us. Thank you for all those who are out there. We appreciate you tuning in. Juneteenth, Definitely subscribe. Juneteenth, Juneteenth, Juneteenth. Uh, fun. And, and real quick, though, and I want to make this, I want to say this, okay? Juneteenth, y'all, we have several flags for Juneteenth. There's not one flag for Juneteenth. That's okay? a good point. I, I, want, I want us as a community to understand that because if someone is raising a red, black, and green flag, that flag is is perfect for Juneteenth. If someone is raising the uh, official Juneteenth flag with the star, that flag is okay for Juneteenth as well. We have several several flags for Juneteenth, and you're going to see those flags. I had someone come in and say, "Hey, we don't need the red, black, and green flag." Yes, you do. If you know the history of the red, black, and green flag, you would actually, yeah, we need to be flying that flag. Those colors are very prevalent to our history. And, 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 and we're and we're and we're building upon that. You know, Marcus Garvey. You know, he 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 uh, started that flag, and there's a reason why he chose those colors. And we're building. And so the other flag, though, is relevant too. You know, it's a new thing for some people. So, so I just want to say, you know, that we have multiple flags for Juneteenth. Okay. I just want to put that they, out there. They serve a certain purpose, but know the history behind a flag. Know the history behind the the Texas flag, that one star, and and that's why history is so important. And sometimes we act out of emotion, not knowing why Texas was the seventh star of the Confederacy. So you know, and yeah. you, you got to understand what that history is. It, 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 would, it would have been nice if it was a black star versus that's a, that one. Yeah. But there's a book out but, there. There's a book out there called River of Blood. And I'm going to just say this. We got books all day long. But it talks about how a lot of enslaved Africans ended up in Texas. They started somewhere in North in the Carolinas because they were, you know, this was a, a, a strong book stronghold especially after you know a lot of slave over owners were moving their slaves to texas uh -huh. because yeah. of the rapid expansion of the union army and um, right so yeah hence juneteenth that's why that's why texas is the last stronghold because they had to really fight you know but anyway wrap yeah. it up okay so we're, we're done but anyway i just want to just throw that out there because um you know that's, that's a big to do we All right, so leave. live. What's love, that song? What's the song? We hate to go, but I'm sorry, we gotta go. We gotta leave you right now. Live, love, and read. I say. <laughs>